Welcome to Accelerate OC, the only show focused on the people leading innovation in Orange County. Join our host, Carrie Ransom, in his conversations with the trendsetters, entrepreneurs, investors, and leaders here, because it's time to Accelerate OC. Okay, welcome to Accelerate OC. And uh, thanks also for our engineer, Paul, joining me today. And I am super excited uh, to welcome my friend Kyle Camrus with me here today. And let me tell you a little bit about Kyle, and then I'm going to uh, let him talk about what he's up to. Uh, Kyle has been a serial entrepreneur in the financial services and fintech space for uh over 15 years. Um, at, in his 20s, he was running one of the largest direct-to-consumer loan companies in the country. He had hundreds of people working for him. They were doing billions of dollars a year in loan volume across the entire country. And he's been, for the last few years, which he's going to talk more about today, he's been building a really innovative SaaS platform focused on transforming this industry that he was so deeply involved with and has been for years and years. He's won a ton of awards. I know he's a modest guy because he's a friend and he doesn't talk about it, but he's been named one of Entrepreneur Magazine's top 25 tech entrepreneurs under 40. He was an OC Innovator of the Year. He was uh, named by National Mortgage Professional, one of the 40 most influential people under 40. He's still youthful. You, you'd think he's 18 if you're looking at him on our live stream uh, video. But Kyle is an incredibly accomplished guy. I'm super excited. And he is absolutely one of the innovators here in Orange County. Uh, Kyle, great to have you. Here. Yeah, thanks for having me, Kerry. Appreciate it. So let's get started. We're at the starting line on our uh, show today. Give me the quick story about your company, Cloud Virga. Yeah, so we um, we are a B to B to C. We sell software as a service um, subscription model to lenders and banks, credit unions, and we basically power their mortgage process, right? From giving their consumers mobile capabilities to a, a digital experience, right? To be able to, to um, take applications, verify. Uh, direct source data from bank accounts, from um, uh, payroll companies, et cetera. And then we also give an enterprise platform um, to the lender, a back office digital platform technology to be able to kind of automate the process of the mortgage um, cycle, right? And and the big thing why we why created the company was um, been in mortgage for quite some time. And for those of who have gotten a mortgage, um, mm -hmm. I don't think there's been one pleasant experience of, uh, yeah, stack of paperwork, <laughs> right? It takes 30 to 40 yeah. days. Like what in life takes 30 to 40 days to do something? Um, and yet it's the most important um, transaction we'll ever make, right? For, mm -hmm. for, for most of us. And so what was interesting is once we look, started looking under the hood and being in the industry for such a long time, realized um, how archaic some of the systems and technology were. Um, it's like the analogy I give is, you know, we're in the iPhone, I think X, uh, I'm an Android user, but we're on the iPhone X and or XS, yeah. And um, you know the mortgage industry is operating on the uh, flip phones, right? And and so it's just a very different, um, a different uh, arena. And with this this push towards consumers wanting everything digital and everything instant at their the palm of their fingertips, um, so there need to be some change. Mm -hmm. And so we started this uh, started this journey, and um, and and that was one piece of it. And the other piece was the inefficiencies. My my passion really has been how to take forty days of a, of a loan process and the the hundreds of back and forths that experience. Right? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. missing this. I need this. I also need this. Oh, I forgot this. Can you resend this? Oh, we found something here. The uncertainty. And our goal is to automate that and literally to get a mortgage with a tap. Right, um, similar to how you get credit cards and so forth. Now it's very complicated, that's awesome. but that's that's the north star. Mm -hmm. That's right. a, a great vision, and th yeah, the the uh, having gone through the mortgage process many times yeah. over the years, it, it, it's and you and daunting. you you solve mortgage. Mortgage is the hardest. Uh, it's one of the most complicated processes in our country as far as to get some type of you know besides healthcare, mortgage is right up there. Mm -hmm. um, so you solve mortgage, everything else becomes very trivial, right? Mm -hmm. Student loans, auto, et cetera. Sure. Sure. Well, that's great. So you are building it here in Orange County. Yeah. Why? 
Yeah, um, good question. So I grew up in Orange County, right? I, I basically, I was born in Atlanta. I came out here when I was one um, and grew up in Dana Point and Irvine. Um, so that's part of it, right? Just here. Um, but, you know, with Orange County, it's, it's interesting. You think, well, you know, you're doing a fintech, get some capital. We got some capital from Northern California, right? We got capital from LA um, in, in our rounds. And, um, w w you know, you, you think, well, why not go there? And, and, you know, I wanted to kind of just start a different trend here, which is, you know, there's other technology companies here mm -hmm. um, and, and, and SaaS software companies. I just want to be able to say, like, look, you can live and work in one of the most amazing places around, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, and there's some amazing talent in Orange County. Um, there's more talent than we can think of. And, um, and so we kind of wanted to be a little bit of a trend center in that sense, right? Help kind of create this fintech movement. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're tackling mortgages, home loans. There's others who are tackling, you know, different ways to be able to save and so forth. Um, and so we just wanted to be at that kind of that launching point of being able to do that. Um, and frankly, didn't want to go anywhere else, right? Because, you know, if you, if you see me, I'm, I wear t-shirts and so forth. And it's like, if I went Northern California, it's always cold, have to get a jacket, <laughs> right? I leave California yeah. and then I got to do something about getting some things called jackets and all these, sure. you, know, you know, earmuffs and stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, but, but the biggest thing was really is, is there's, there's potential here in Orange County. Mm -hmm to create the next revolution. Uh, I always, I always say, right. You know, Orange County has been known for real estate uh, and obviously real estate and homes and commercial properties. And, um, it should, this next revolution should be the technology revolution that should hit Orange County because it's hitting other places, mm -hmm. but Orange County has the, the aptitude, the wealth, the, 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 the manpower and the location sure. to be one of the greatest. Yeah, the pieces are, are clearly, there. clearly here. Right? Just needs to be yeah. kind of molded, sure. right? In, in a sense, it's a little that's bit right. disjointed. And that's what I've kind of experienced. Is Orange County is so big, but yet so it's it's small, I mean, but it's so big because it's like there's so, uh, you know, the left and the right hand sometimes don't know, mm -hmm. you know, they don't talk mm -hmm. to each other and so forth. So sure. Well, and uh, you know, as we've talked about a lot uh, in the 15 years that I've been here, uh, you know, just continued to work and work at right. trying to create a little bit more of that connectedness, which is going to be key for, for this revolution to, to take hold and, and, you know, take advantage of all the great assets that yeah. do exist here. So exactly. You're spot on. Exactly. So you're, you're a few years in now, yep. you know, we'll talk a little bit more about, you know, you guys have raised a lot <clears> of money, <throat> you're getting great traction, the company's growing. What, what do you feel like the community could have done as you look back and you say, okay, um, we could have been, uh, it could have been easier. It could have been, um, a little bit different earlier on if I had known folks in the community or if there were other things that the community could have brought to bear, what, what would that have looked like? In yeah, your I, I would have, I mean, capital, mm -hmm. right? I think, I think it would have been great if, if the community, right. Cause look, I mean, we've raised capital from one of the largest VCs in Southern California, mm -hmm. but they're located in LA. Mm -hmm. They've invested in companies like true car, um, and, um, and, and, and others. And, um, um, and then we, uh, our latest round was our private equity firm and, and they're up in Menlo park. Mm -hmm. Um, and then another one was a, was a strategic from, um, a very large institution in New York, publicly traded. And so it's, it's, you know, they're all in different places, sure. right? So, you know, ideally it would have been nice to, um, have, um, more than just some, my friends <laughs> mm -hmm. who are, mm -hmm. who are here, uh, invest, um, to just be able to create that, that, um, cohesiveness, um, to help build the brand locally, mm -hmm. um, to help get the word out there, but also it's like hands-on. Right. And then sure. that's one thing I've noticed is, is that there's a lot of venture capital companies and so forth, and they're great. And, you know, we got some amazing ones uh, on our board, but it's the, it's the hands-on mm -hmm. and I don't care what you say, but you know, you can fly an hour and get here from San Francisco or whatever, but being here and, you know, being able sure. to be, it's, it makes a difference. So yeah, I think the community can help from a capital perspective. Um, and also from a, um, jobs perspective. I mean, like right now, you know, we've got 175 people mm -hmm. we're going to hire, um, uh, you know, probably you know, 30, 40 people. Um, and so to be able to access, that ecosystem in an easy way. And there mm -hmm. is an easy way to do it without having to go and pay for a bunch of recruiting dollars to sure. a bunch of different recruiters, sure. right? Which gets really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, that would be an interesting model as well, right? Sure. To be able to bring everyone together. 
Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, you're looking for engineers, you're looking for UX designers, right? Yep. So forth. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that brings up a great topic. I, you know, I, I know a lot of entrepreneurs are, you know, especially as they, they get further along, they start to realize, oh, I have a brand that I have to build as a company to right. my customers, to the market, to show what value we have there. But there's also that community or employment brand yeah. that you have to invest time and attention into so that you are in, in I mean, we, we're having the same issues here in Orange County with really low unemployment. And so you're competing sure. and having that ability to tell that story, hopefully um, folks like you that I can bring on here gives them an opportunity to, to really share, you know, what are they doing? Why is that, why is that exciting to be yeah. a part of? And, and there are, as you've said, I've, I've seen it firsthand in the um, dozens of companies I've been involved with here that there is amazing talent here. And uh, at times we just have to figure out ways to, to reach them and get them excited about yeah. the next set of companies like Cloud Verga that they can get involved with. And yeah, and, and you know, it's interesting. I mean, because we recruit from all over, right? We've had people from Uber and Google and Square, right? And all these different companies. And, and um, you know, they love it here, right? Yeah. Um, they don't know much about Orange okay. County. And so there's some interesting things that I'm actually involved with with the community to start helping. How do we brand Orange County? Because mm -hmm. when people outside think of Orange County, they think of beaches and Disneyland, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, and there's much more, obviously, That's than right. that, right? And uh, Or apparel, right? Mm -hmm. Because we've mm -hmm. got from Vans to Billabong and, sure. and everything here. Um, and when they come here, we actually take them on tours, right? There's 33 cities. Mm -hmm. And we're like, hey guys, what's your flavor? Sure. Do you like close coastal? Yep. How about price points, right? How about a little bit more inland, right? And we go all the way from Yorba Linda, right, the land of gracious mm -hmm. living, <laughs> down <laughs> to right. down to Dana Point, San Clemente, sure. right, all the way through now That's Rancho right. Viejo and stuff. And people are just like, my word, this is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and not everywhere is just I'm on a very kids, right? There's That's there's right. there's something for everybody. That's right. Yeah, I think that I mean that something for everybody is always how I think about it. And just people don't know. Yeah. People think of like coming to Orange County to retire. Right. Or to have kids. Mm -hmm. um, and it's yeah, that's cool. Right. But but there's so much more. That's right. Right. So. Yeah. So you can design the life that yeah, you want. 100 percent. And great companies like Cloud Verga are, are going to create those opportunities. And, and I mean, we're, we're reading about it all the time. People are leaving places like San Francisco and even New York is experiencing some of those challenges. And um, some cases people are going to really, really remote yeah. places like the small town in Indiana where I grew up, but that's probably not what most people, they want a dynamic environment, yeah. but something that gives them that 360 degree experience. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm here for a reason well, like you, right. where there is the, the, something for everyone here, if you're willing to take the time to totally. really figure that out. And also, right. It's like, you got to create the ecosystem because, okay, let's say someone doesn't like working at CV, at CV right? Cloud Verga. Um, what other options are there? Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be someone that's competing with us, but it can be something that's someone in the same vertical. Right. right. And so some people that we've talked to have said that like, okay, like let's say it doesn't work out or let's say I want to move on after a couple of years, which mm -hmm. totally fine. Sure. Uh, where do I go? I don't want to move back up. Right. Do I now take my mm -hmm. family or take myself and, load my, you know, load up the truck and go back up north because I can't find another job there. And so, so we're trying to encourage others to start just building this ecosystem here mm -hmm. uh, where you start creating a marketplace, right? Where you have talent. Um, and, and, uh, and that just creates that competitive fire as well too. Sure. That you just want to be better and better when you have that around you. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's go under the hood a little bit more on Cloud Verga, and you know, you mentioned size of the company where you are. You guys are, are still growing. Yep. Um, I, you know, letting the the audience in a, a little secret. I, I know you guys are in the process of moving here relatively soon. So what you know, what's going on with the company right now, and and what's in front of you over the yeah. next twelve months or so? So we were fortunate, right, early on. I mean, I, we didn't. I, it's funny. I didn't have a sales and marketing team, right? I wore like twelve hats, mm -hmm. right, and and that's what's. You're the only entrepreneur who's ever had to wear twelve. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm the only one. No, I mean, it's and I think everyone can attest to that, right? And so, so early on, you know, um, luckily, I don't even know how how we did it, but you know, we signed up some of the largest lenders in the country. Um, that I like, committed to millions and millions of dollars. Um, um, uh, and so it was pretty amazing, right? Cause we were just a small mm -hmm. rinky dink, like, Hey, and believe in us. And so it was, it was a really interesting cause we have a great story, uh, and we know what we're doing and we've got the, the pedigree to be able to do it. 
Um, and so, you know, we've gotten the largest lenders in the country. Um, I'll give you kind of some examples, right? So the mortgage origination, uh, total loans that the entire economy did last year of new loans mm -hmm. was about 1.3 trillion. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. And, and that's about average, right? At the, Hey, at the, 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 the boom, it was probably about two, two and yeah. a half, three. So I mean, it's still way mm -hmm. down, but mm -hmm. it's still consistent. <clears throat> and, um, our customers make up about 150 billion of that volume, right? Already. Wow. Uh, and we did this without having a sales and marketing. So, so we mm -hmm. believe that there's a need obviously for mm -hmm. this. You know, we process a couple hundred million uh, dollars worth of loans each day. Wow. Um, and so it's been pretty, pretty cool, right? And so that's what's going, right? We're, we're still evolving, right? We're three years old. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. so building an enterprise, you know, it's not just a simple mobile app, right? There, mm -hmm. there's a millions of lines of code. It's an enterprise platform. It's, just, it's, it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, has its challenges as well too, but we're going through it, right? And, and, uh, and so that on that front is going great. Um, we're super excited. We just started bolstering up our sales and marketing team. Um, and we've got a phenomenal executive team. One of the best that we've got some amazing guy, great chief product officer, chief revenue officer. We got awesome, awesome talent and great CTO we just brought on board. Um, so I feel really good about that. Um, and then, yeah, we're moving. So it was interesting. We, right now we're on the corner of, um, in Jamboree on the five over by the Tustin marketplace area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, signed up with Irvine company. They were awesome on uh, giving us a space. They completely re renovated it, uh, redid everything for us to make it feel very, you know, techie. Mm -hmm. And that was about two years ago. I signed the lease. Uh, and then all of a sudden we kind of outgrew it and, um, they're like, Hey, um, Let's go find something else. Okay. And only Irvine Company can That's do that. That's right. They're, right? they're a fairly they, big landlord here. They're a fairly yeah. big la landlord here, right? They own every, for those who don't know, they own every, uh, most, all the commercial property that they own, which is hundreds of buildings, um, and they have no debt. So they can just rip up a contract, right? And I was, in, it was a you know, five year lease or whatever mm -hmm. it was. Rip up a contract, start new, no penalties. As long as you go to another one of their properties, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they were awesome. And they introduced us to a property down in um, UCI Research Park which is where the old Broadcom headquarters were. Mm. And, uh, and so we, um, we're going to be moving over there, uh, sometime in August. Okay. We're designing it right now. Uh, and we'll be over there by, um, uh, LPA building, uh, acorns over there. Okay. Uh, another FinTech. Yeah. Startup another fin yeah that's great, great, great company. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, also the cove, right. For the UCI, right. The innovation mm -hmm. hub mm -hmm. and lab. And this place is just great. It's a, it's a true tech campus. Um, it's almost like a resort, right? There's trails, there's bikes you can take, right? To go That's up on the awesome. trails. So people love it. I mean, we had several of our employees go out there and just be like, this is wonderful. Cause we try I mean, to encourage everybody get out. Yeah. Right. I don't want people to just sit in their desks, like go out and explore right now. You're walking around the building, you know, it's parallel to a freeway, mm -hmm. right? So, <laughs> so, so yeah. this is gonna be pretty cool. Volleyball courts, basketball courts. That's awesome bocce all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna get you on the record right now once you get in there and get a little settled we're gonna move this on the road that's right and, and do it yeah we, that's right there. yeah yeah that's right for sure okay. absolutely absolutely so we're, we're super excited about that and, and we think that that will help you know just with the theme of what we're doing and the mm -hmm. new the new tech age in orange county that's awesome right so so uh, it, it ask the same question again you know we talked about where you the community could have helped you yeah in the early days on the capital side, now you're firmly planted, you're growing, you're moving to a great space. How do you think about there, you know, with the, the extended network of folks who are, are going to listen to this that are here in Orange County are excited about the, the future of Orange County? How can the community get involved and help you now? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, I mentioned this earlier, right? We're, we're looking for talent, mm -hmm. right? So one mm -hmm. of the things that we did um, was we've had talent all over um, and because we just knew people in mm -hmm. different areas. So mm -hmm. we're starting to bring everyone here, right? Mm -hmm. We want everyone in one location mm -hmm. um, I, for many reasons. I'm sure people people know. Right. Um, and so so the big thing is the talent, right, um, is to be able to find, you know, the, the, the talent to, 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 you know, either are here or want to be here. Right. And I think mm -hmm. that's the best way, mm -hmm. right. To create that ecosystem. Cause you, like you said, there's a ton of, you know, unemployment is low here. Um, but there are people who are, you know, either bored, right. That's right. Or oh, sure. they're stuck. They want to pay and they don't know. And they're like, wait that's a right. second. Oh, okay, cool. I can come and work and change, you know, challenge myself, right? Mm -hmm. Deal with one of the hardest, mm -hmm. most complicated financial transactions ever, mm -hmm. right? Sadly, but true. Um, and challenge myself, get paid well, right? You know, be part of the upside, right? With options. Um, and, uh, 
and and so people don't know right and um and like i said you know going through your normal route right recruiters are great but that's you know, it'd be great. That's where I think the community can kind of bring. And it's not just my story. Sure. Other people are like that as well, too. It's like they all have, everyone has a little different story. Mm-hmm. Mine happens to be home loans, right? automate, digitize, make it less stressful, right? And much less costly. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, people, there might be people out there who are just like, for yeah, sure. I don't want to work at XYZ for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you have, I mean, you have, just because unemployment rate is small, single digit, percentage here doesn't mean everybody that has a job wants it that's exactly right it. well that's that's <laughs> the thing yeah. right i mean people right. in you know orange county is not a cheap place to live mm-hmm. right but i mean compared to san francisco it is <laughs> but at the end of the day right we want people who are passionate mm-hmm. and we want to create a purpose-driven you know culture um where it's not just about the comp yeah we have to have compensation of course mm-hmm. right but it's also about like you know are we solving complicated problems and i think that's what is different in what we're trying to do um, and this new wave, right? Which is how do you how do you work for great companies, right? I mean, you got look at Uber, what they're doing. Look at these amazing companies up in San Francisco and New York and some of these. Places. But you can also work hard, make good money, and really feel like get fulfilled, mm-hmm. right? In a, in a different way. And so, um, you know, trying to trying to be able to carry that message. So that's what I would say is like, how do we carry that message? That's great. So that those people who feel that they might, you know, want to partake Mm -hmm. can actually know about it. Sure. And that's, I mean, we have a lot of folks here that have been here for a long time, have worked in a lot of different industries, including there's a huge amount of uh, legacy talent here that's worked in the mortgage industry for a long time. We were the Mecca. That's right. Right. Absolutely. So how, just on the, a little bit on the flip side of that, how are you thinking about, I mean, we've got some great universities here. Mm -hmm. We've got some people that are um, coming out of universities how, how do we, in your mind, how do we keep them here? Yeah. So I they mean, don't, they don't that, leave UCI and leave the area. That is, I mean, and I, I've told this to everybody, UCI, I didn't go there, uh, but UCI uh, and, and, and my, my neighbors, one of the assistant deans over there, uh, associate deans at Paul Mirage School of Business, but that school is just, I mean, it's got some amazing talent. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they'll be one of the best, if not top one, two in the, in the state. In, in their engin- engineering comp mm-hmm. sci and data program. Mm-hmm. I think that will happen in the next five years. UCI will. And, um, and so, yeah, that's a, that's the, that's a good question, right? We're going to, for us being at UCI research park, yeah. I mean, that's going to be a definite, um, uh, driver for us to figure out what's the model, right? We've already gotten a couple interns and saying, Hey, you know, your junior year, you're a coder. You like to do this. Come on over. Let's, you know, kind of do this. And mm-hmm. so trying to build that model a little bit, but, it's definitely the proactive reaching out to these schools, right? Reaching out to Cal State Fullerton, reaching out to um, Chapman mm-hmm. and so forth, right? Mm-hmm. And it's interesting, even UCI, Cal State Fullerton started this, but UCI is also building a, not just a business program, right, for their undergrad, but also an entrepreneurship and innovation program, which I think, oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That's so great. it's gonna really help get these creative minds. Because we're not just looking for coders and developers and engineers, mm-hmm. right? You're looking mm-hmm. for all, all, all walks of life. That's right. That's right. Okay. So Kyle, it's our final lap now. Um, share with the audience the, the biggest, single biggest lesson you feel like you've learned so far in this Cloud Verga adventure. Yeah. The people. Um, invest in the people, right? It's not just enough to get a ping pong table, right? And in unlimited gobs of food. Um, you got to invest in the emotional IQ of these people and where are they going? What's their journey, right? And I say this before, right? Kyle at 25 is different than Kyle at 30, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so, so you know, you it's a family, and 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 treat it as such, um, and get to know your people, and that's one of the biggest things because th- that's the biggest investment, and you're doing it for these people. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Kyle, thank you yeah, so for much me. for uh, taking us along on this ride today, for having this conversation, and and really, I mean, thank you for being uh, a person who leads by example here in our community. Um, welcome to the Accelerate OC family. Yeah, super uh, you're excited. definitely part of it, and you're definitely doing your part to Accelerate OC. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You've just listened to Accelerate OC. Join our live recordings every Tuesday morning at accelerateoc.com or listen, like, and share anytime from your favorite podcast spot. Let's Accelerate OC together. 